Hello everyone, and welcome to Trial Run, Mitch Plays Warframe on PlayStation 4. So, Warframe, if you don't know already, uh, came out and launched with the PS4. Uh, it's a downloadable game, and it's also free to play. <coughs> I have spent over 10 hours playing Warframe now, and I have to give my analysis on it, and I must say, I'm very much enjoying this game. Uh, things I like most about it is that the online community is actually really cool. They're um, very helpful. And more, more times than none, it takes no less than 20 seconds to ever find a match to team up with someone. So I'm currently three planets into the game. I'm having a lot of difficulty with the third planet because it is going to take you a kind of a lot of rinse and repeat and upgrading a lot so <clears throat> let's start off with the first mission oh I'll go solo for this uh, here we go now I'm taking you to your inventory and you'll want to get used to this screen because it's gonna be a big difference in late game so on that, my TV just muted on me, I think. Oh no, I can hear everything. Um, as you can see here, it says upgrade uh, with triangle. And what the upgrade system is, it looks like this. During matches, you'll end up picking these cards up as you go along. And you'll be able to auto-equip them. I always just auto-install. Um, it uses up all the points you have. And it probably won't make a difference if I hit it now. Because I think last time before I logged out, I just clicked on auto install. So you've got six things. Uh, if you decide to pick up uh, one of these little dudes, um, I use the platinum that you kind of get off the bat with the game to buy one. I could use it to maybe buy a different Warframe. Uh, currently, I just have the Excalibur one at rank 26. I think 30 is the max rank you can get all your weapons to. Uh, so I've got this one at 30. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take off the mods for this one. Oh no, did that work? Alright, no, because I didn't press triangle. So, I'm going to change up, I'm going to change it to this weapon. I don't have anything else, no, no. Because uh, this is only a rank 8, and I wouldn't mind getting the rank up a bit. So, auto installed. And I'll press triangle to apply. Now, another thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go down to mods. Because as you play, you'll pick up duplicates of cards. Now, probably I don't have any duplicates because I've already combined them. But what, what you would do here is, um, let's see if I can just locate at least one set of a duplicate. Ah, here we go. Fury. So what you'll see here is, if I hit this guy, that blue bar goes up and I hit this one. It kind of goes up to a uh, level two where when I apply it'll have more strength and it will also cost cheaper points to equip so you want to use duplicates on themselves as much as possible to uh, bring down the price of equipping them and also make the card a bit more rare and a bit more powerful uh, as you can see there's kind of a little white dot and four black ones that's the amount of levels you can get it to. And once you hit max level, there's no point in duplicating and fusing any of them together. So, all right. Let's play a little bit of Warframe then. That is pretty loud music. Uh, in relation to how the game runs, uh, when he first started up, there's quite a long wait to get to the start screen. Um, missions don't take too long to load. Uh, in regards to graphics, you know, it's not the most overly pretty game. You would think it could run on previous gen consoles. Um, it doesn't look like anything like um, Gears of War. Like, I think Gears of War is a much prettier game. Like, you can see there, texture pop in and loading in a bit of texture. So let's see. Speed kills, get three kills within 10 seconds. 
So as you can see, the little mini map. If you press down on the touchpad, you can use that. But I prefer having it just up there. So let's do a bit of a sprint. Alright. There we go. Now let's just see. If you want, you can hack these to make it a little bit easier for yourself. They're not overly complicated, but when you're in a tough situation and decide to hack them, you want to be quick because if you're not, they'll end up getting the jump on you. So here we go. Not too bad, some credits. Ferrite is kind of, you'll be able to uh, pick up stuff that you'll be able to make new mm, warframes out of or make uh, weapons. But you also have the option just to buy the weapon, which is what they want you to do because it's free to play. But if you just kind of dedicate a bit of time to playing, eventually you'll be able to make your weapon that you're looking forward to getting. So let's see now. Yeah, as you can see, this mission is just wipe out all the 39 enemies. So. It kind of reminds me a bit of Mass Effect. He's shooting in it. I think that guy might have went to uh, activate. Oh, no, he didn't. Enemies will run to activate um, defenses. Which can kind of suck. Especially if you're playing a really hard mission. But for this kind of mission, I don't really mind. Now, they had a previous update recently. And from what I gather, a couple things have changed. Like uh, combat, uh, melee attacks have changed up. I think they're quite better. I played, I only started before that uh, update. So I do notice a bit of difference in um, the previous one. So let's see, I've got 15 enemies down now. Not too many left to go. There are, you know, items you can blow up in uh, during missions. But honestly, they're never placed in a perfect spot to kill too many enemies. Maybe once or twice you might get a lucky shot and kill a few. But I've never had anything like amazingly cool where I killed everyone like this might kill him yeah oh no I didn't even kill him just knocked him over um, people will probably think oh I'll just use a sword all the time like I'm using it now because it's pretty effective against him because I have it at a really high level but when you're when I first started off this mission really want to be only using the sword to kill one or two guys because they can stun you and bring down your shield you can see there the blue 320 is your shield and then when that depletes it'll take off your health your shield will restore but your health obviously won't think of it like halo now you can do wall runs and stuff but I really haven't came into a situation where like that was a necessity to survival Another dude shoot me somewhere. Well, you can do a fairly long, decent wall run. Alright, this guy. Boom. Got ya. Music is quite cool, I think. Kind of sets the mood for a good fight. Alright, shotgun ammo. I haven't actually gotten a shotgun yet. I don't really think I like it because shotguns are really weapons you want to be up close for. I like kind of shooting from a distance. I know there's sniper rifles, but I haven't really haven't unlocked any yet. I wouldn't even think I'd be a sniper rifle kind of dude. Assault rifle is my, my bread and butter. Alright, nine more enemies to go. Oh. 
You want to be opening up these because they will contain items you might need to craft things together. And crafting is key if you don't want to have to pay money to maybe get new suit upgrade or... I know, I hear a guy... Where is he? The cool thing about your little dude that follows you, um, he'll probably give away enemies locations by shooting at them if you can't see him. So it's quite handy. It's also this uh, kind of ability system where if you use the touchpad, if I strike up on the touchpad, you can unlo like you'll be able to get custom ones. But the ones I have right now, I don't use all that often. That one's kind of cool. Um, let's see if I go to the right. Radial javelin. That's actually quite cool. But as you can see, there's a little blue bar in the bottom right corner. Um, you need to replenish that over time or pick up uh, blue orbs will replenish it. But I always forget that I have that. So, no, that wasn't <coughs> blue orb. Red orbs obviously are health. Where is that guy? Alright, so five more enemies for four. Where are you? Interesting thing as well about the game. Um, levels actually don't always spawn you at the same point that you might have been at. Like they kind of change it up in a way. Alright. Uh, where is that dude? rifle ammo that's one thing as well i find that some levels you'd be playing and you just end up running out of rifle ammo now granted you can switch to your pistols i've got dual pistols but like i wish they were kind of auto auto fire currently they are not now oh where is this dude i don't know kill him with uh oh no i don't have any enough energy So, as you can see, you don't have infinite sprint. I wish you did, but couldn't make the game too easy now, could they? Where are you, dude? I kind of wish that um, your map would display where enemies are sometimes. Where is this dude? Oh, there we go. Um, I don't have enough energy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, there is one of those fusion cards. So I know I've got a tailwind already, so I'll want to fuse them together to make a better one. To hop up like that on ledges, you'll want to Oh, hold on a second. I have to do this again. Uh, no. There we go. Of course they don't. I'm a ninja. You can do a slide thing if you want. You can also um, crouch, which I thought I'd use a bit more of. I don't really find it to be that helpful now but if you are being overwhelmed by dudes I guess it couldn't hurt to crouch behind cover and shoot because then they have less chance of shooting you with their guns so alright so I got a nav coordinate there now the thing is I don't know if I find it annoying yet but maybe when I get further on in levels uh, a lot of the items you need for crafting like they'll be planet specific items so, uh, all the items I picked up here will always be the same items I'll always get. So, daily first win bonus awarded. Alright. So, it shows you what items you got during the mission. And then, at the end of every mission, you'll get credits. So, I'm going to play... 
I'm going to go to Earth, because that's the latest one I'm after unlocking. And the level, I'm having so much trouble with this one, I think it is. Yeah. This one is a bitch. That's why I'm going to play it online. And I'm hoping <clears throat> that uh, I can mute my squad. If anyone's w still watching, does anyone know what that noise is on a MacBook Pro? I have no idea. I could Google it, but like how? What's that? How do you even spell that? I'm actually just after thinking, I should have equipped the gun that I had previously because it'd be more powerful. So get twenty kills with a pistol. All right. All right, let's see, chat. Um, how do I mute, guys? I don't know how to mute. Oh, wait, that muted them, I think. Right, let's see what happens. Grab, yes. All right, gotta try and concentrate. Ah, goddamn. I'm not doing well at all. I don't like the heavy grenier, he always. Alright, have we captured this one yet? See, when you're contested, it stops uh, you from taking over the tower. Alright, got this one. Not too bad. Alright, see how this goes. Oh, wait, heavy grenier. Gotta get away from him. I'll try using. Oh, Jesus Christ. to have okay we nearly have this tower not too bad all right I'm gonna go up for C capture come on there we go all right so this is actually a fun mode what's well, hard as dicks okay not too bad I don't know why we've captured towers, but it doesn't seem to be changing any of the percentage of, uh, I'm really trying to concentrate and win this level. Those dicks. About time. Finally, stream the code. Oh, bleeding out. Shit, now I'm bleeding out. And there's probably gonna be no one to save me. 
Oh, I think there is. Sweet. That thing is just not going down. I can't get to him. I wish I could. That guy's just sitting there doing nothing. Alright, he's back up, at least. Let's, let's get this mission done. Oh, sweet. Diamond skin. I don't know if I have that one. We'll find out later on, though. Alright, that's another one down. I don't know if he's trying to talk to me or not. I am voting go. All right. Nice. So, sawtooth clip. I'm not sure what that is. So we're still in this party, so I might as well stick with them if they're going to play, uh, see what level they'll go for. I can like recommend that we do this one, and if they all click on it, then we'll do it straight away. So while that's happening, I'll go into Arsenal and check out my fusions. So I got Diamond Skin. But I don't have a duplicate of it, so all we'll do is we'll just test and see if see yeah it's after equipping fast hands there. Auto install, nothing changed there. Upgrade, uh nothing changed there unfortunately. Maybe here. Nothing again. So this mission is probably gonna start now. Yeah. Uh, you'll also pick up rare cards during the game. I think I've only got a few. But the more you play, the better chances you have. And then if you combine them, you're just going to be in a world of hurt on your enemy. So that character there that's on the screen right now, he is part of the new update that happened there in the past week or so. Here we go. Use your Warframe ability once. Okay. Alright, let's have some fun. Alright, those little robot dudes kind of give their enemies a bit more power. That guy is like an exploding bomb thing where you don't want him to hit you. Like he'll try and rush you and kill you. But if you're Oh, a little bit of lag. Crap. Hopefully that doesn't stick. Why are we having lag? Hopefully it goes away. No one likes lag. Okay, we have a pretty bad lag. Although it might be gone. I think it's gone. 
or maybe it's not. Pretty sure I just seen a guy glitch in. All right. So really, in every level, what you'll be mainly doing is looking at your map, seeing where you gotta go, going there, killing whatever. A lot of rinse and repeat. Alright, at least they're opening this time. I don't know what's going on. I don't see any enemies. And it's very unusual not to see enemies. Is that thing going to fire at me right now? Oh, here we go. Destroy this thing. I hate them so much. I've never had the game glitch out this badly on me. But the joys of online. Yeah, this is pretty much unplayable, but... Perhaps we can glitch the game into letting us win. Okay. Oh crap. Nice, another fury. How do I get back up there? Presume it's this way. I hear gunshots over here, but I don't see it, dude. Okay, there was a guy up there, but I don't think I need to go for him. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah. I have no interest in killing all these guys, just wanna leave the mission. Alright, so my gun is on level ten now. Not too bad. So the more you use weapon, the more it'll upgrade quicker. But at the end of every match, you do get a little XP towards everything that you can upgrade. Which is kind of good. The game is pretty fair in relation to it doesn't make you constantly remind you that, hey, this is free to play. Maybe to a point where you kind of wonder, are they making money off this? And do I feel bad if I don't give them money? Okay, that was dumb. Uh, so I gotta get by this thing. Yay. Oh yeah. Oh, crap. Alright, let's go guys. So the worlds are interesting enough.
like the last world I was on felt like I was on like an ice planet and it was actually pretty tough and this one just seems like an inhabited world so you have to wait for all your guys to get to the end which means no one gets left behind Yeah. So the fusion core, I actually don't know what they do. And then the Ruby do, yeah, the Rube Do is an item you can use for crafting. So I'll just show you the crafting and we'll see how it goes. I probably don't have anything to craft. Uh, oh, I thought I nearly had the most damage there. Um, damage taken was me. Total kills 23, I had the lead there, headshots 1. So it's kind of a quick little tip thing to tell you how good you did in that match and how bad. Um, so let's see, the market. So here is where you can purchase Warframes for money, or you can purchase schematics of Warframes, and then hopefully you have all the right tools to make them. So the blueprints, I mean. So let's see. Uh, Warframe blueprints. Now I don't. I am currently the Excalibur Warframe. Uh, if I was to buy a Warframe, I would probably like to go for. Uh, that one's pretty cool. I don't really like having a Warframe that's big and blocky. I kind of like you know, like I am a ninja. So let's see, the ones you can purchase for Platinum, that's if you just don't have the patience to farm out the supplies, and these, these are just accessories. Uh, let's see, weapons. Now, some weapons be XP locked, what that means you need, you need to do a test to rank up, but it's kind of, not random, but... You won't always be able to do the tests. You'll see it at the top menu where it's like, oh, would you like to rank up? So I'm on level two rank. So when I got there, more weapons were available for buying in schematics. But as you can see, XP locked means I'm not a high enough rank to get it. Plus I probably wouldn't even have the right items to make it. Uh, you can click on them and it'll show you what items are required. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it showed you which ones you had and which ones you didn't have. Instead, just like, so I bought this one, and I don't even know if I have, well, no, I can check if I have. So, equipment. Yeah, the Sentinels are the cool little things I bought, like them. So, we'll go into our arsenal again. And, yeah, so that's the only one I have. I think that's just the one you get at the starting off in the game. And uh, the weapons, I have only two. I wish I had more. Uh, the guns, two again. I like an auto firing gun so I don't have to keep clicking R2 to fire. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, the Kronos, I have two. It gives you a little indication off to the side, like which one's more powerful. So, like, the Kronos is. 10.5 whereas the Scana is only 8 4.8 so the Kronos is much much better um, well let's show you how that how is it again that I craft them oh the foundry so this is where you'll go to look at your schematics and see what you can build so these are all my blueprints and I think I've only got one thing I can make and that is the sword I already have so that's it there. But as you can see, if I wanted to make that bow and arrow, I need three galleon, which I don't have. Plastids, where I don't even know how to get them. So I find myself like I nearly have everything except for one thing. So nanospores, I presume I'll have to go to a planet that I haven't even gotten to yet to make that. I don't know where I'll get the pieces for that one. Uh, I have plenty of stuff to make the Kronos again but no point I already have one this guy I really want to make but I still need uh, Robdo, Rubdo I can get but the other ones salvage and stuff I haven't gotten any yet 
Uh, that I'm not too sure. I think maybe it's part of a Warframe accessory. So I need the gallium for that. And oh, can't make that. Can't make that. Can't make that. Wish I could though. Can't make that. So yeah, you can also check out the clan. Uh, I have one person in my clan. Uh, let's see. Build a broken lab now. I'm not sure what this is about. I don't, know. don't need instructions. Learn by doing. Okay. Clan Log has joined the clan. So you can enter the dojo with your clan members. I don't have enough yet, so if anyone's watching and wants to, you know, get into a clan, let me know. You can message me at uh, alpha underscore prince on Twitter if you like. But uh, yeah, that's the oh name. All right, that's just how you can organize them. Uh, codex. What's codex? All right, just information. Uh, profile. Let's see what a profile looks like. So 12, and a, uh, 12 hours, 5th, 13 minutes. Skill, 21. Gross income. Solar map progress. Jesus, I've not... I've 22 missions out of 239 done. So I have a lot, lot left to do. That's kind of cool. Kill assists. XP. How many kills have I gotten? 2,108. Next rank, gold initiate in 319. I'm not sure what that means. I presume that, well, presume uh, when I get another rank, I can go up higher and buy better weapons. Uh, icon. Alright. Oh, you can even go to the market and purchase icons clan Celtic gamer time played all right so it adds up everyone's uh, stats that's kind of cool the only thing I don't like is when say you leave something like I was in profile there when I would go into and go back like take note I go back into it I'm back up the star chart kind of wish you just left it on profile anything in options region Europe Matchmaking ping 300. Global chat on. I can change that to off. Uh, yeah. So that's Mitch plays Warframe. I'm going to start doing more streams of this. This one is just explaining about Warframe. The next ones will be just me playing. And hopefully, if I get a clan uh, up and running, we can do more streams. Um, other things to take note of, you can get your news over here, nothing really there, alerts, I can't join that alert, operations, I can't join any of them because I don't have the, I'm pretty sure it's because I don't have, um, I'm not on that planet yet, so hopefully things will change in the future and I'll get a bit better, but yeah, all in all I'm enjoying Warframe, I think it's a decent game, and I think if you have PlayStation 4, you have no reason not to check it out. It's free. And if you do, let me know. Take it easy, guys, and thanks for watching uh, this video of Mitch Plays Warframe, uh, brought to you from Celtic Gamer. So if you enjoy that, subscribe to the channel, and let us know more videos that you'd like to see done for a Let's Play series. So take it easy, guys. Chat to you next time.